Hi, y'all, and welcome to India Brady Art. I want to start off by apologizing again for a delayed um, publication of a video. I'm still trying to figure out um, some things as far as transferring videos from one place to another. Um, this is all because of, you know, you've heard the term, if something ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, anyway, I'm having to figure out a couple of things still in order to have a smooth transition of uh, videos and, and photos and stuff like that. Anyway, let's get on to the project. I just, I want to apologize right up front. I am so frustrated and flustered right now. Just uh, can't believe it. Anyway, as you can see, these are um, tea light holders. Um, when you stand them up right, there's half of a heart on one side and the other half of the heart on the right hand side. And you can see that there's a, um, I don't know what do you call it, a space for the little tea light to go into the holder. And what I've done is I've mixed up some resin. Don't ask me how much because it's, this is not, I don't have casting resin. I ran out of it the other day. Um, so I'm having to pour in layers. This layer is... The first layer that you can see inside the candle holders are, um, it's pink. And what I've done is I've taken some heart shaped glitter and mixed it in with my resin and poured it in there. And then I'm taking this, which you see now is um, from just, it's a pigment paste from just resin called ATD Fireball and I'm gonna pour that in there now this is gonna be the second layer now the other the little video after this one I believe is the very last part I'm not sure yeah I've I've lost I know I've won if not two little videos and um, if y'all look at that tea light holder on the right hand side the the left hand side of it is bowed and um, I thought if once I pour resin in there, it's the, the weight of the resin is going to push it up against the frame. No, <laughs> that did not happen. So, um, what I did, and you'll see what I did here in a little while. But I have resin mixed over, and this is the, I think, that's the either, I think it's the bottom of a, AirPod holder and they come out really cute if if anybody has AirPods just yeah it's a really cute holder to keep your AirPod holder <laughs> um, safe just like you would your your phone you put an outside case on it to protect it from bumps and drops and, and all of that so yeah and you can tell on the far right hand side at the very bottom that's the other I can't remember if it's top or bottom but we're gonna find out here in a little while um, yeah, that's some resin that I had left over from the first layer that I poured. And what I've done here is I've taken my 
little earring molds and I've sprinkled the heart shaped glitter and just poured the red resin on top of it. So if you're new to resin and you're doing a project and you have resin left over, don't throw that resin out. Get you some tiny moles or uh, even if you have bigger moles, you know, pour, pour what resin you have in, into any mold. And if it's a bigger mold, you can make layers that, you know, would look really cool. But yeah, just don't, don't throw it away and don't waste it because it is expensive. Yeah, and I'm looking at that. Try, I'm trying to figure out what I can put in there that won't fall in. Because <laughs> I don't want anything to fall in there. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking around to see if I can find something that I can push up against it in order for it to cure straight. Because as you can tell right now, that it's going to cure bent or just you know really crooked looking and whoever manufactures these molds they need to do a better job either that or i just got a bad you know a bad mold i don't know but yeah so i thought oh well let's stick some <laughs> stick rolls of tape in there so everything is cured and I'm rolling my chair I meant to cut this part out because you know but I am an affiliate of glitter makes it there's a coupon code and a link in the description. You get 30% off your uh, entire order at no cost to you. I get a small commission from that. And Catherine sent me that mold. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it came out pretty. I like it, whatever it's supposed to be, but Catherine, let me know what this is supposed to be but anyway yeah I'm an affiliate of glitter makes it 30% off your entire order if y'all want to see me make something uh, give me shoot me an email uh, if you want to buy something that I have made shoot me an email um, my Instagram account and my PayPal account everything is in the description and PayPal if you donate to my channel the money that you donate goes back into my channel it will give me or at least help me with supplies that I need so I'm taking off the frames and as you can see on that right hand side mold the the tape worked at the top but it didn't really work on the bottom but you know I've didn't know what to do with it. See how bent. That is just it's so aggravating. Oh my goodness. And what I, I don't know what I might do the next time I make these is 
to not fill it up all the way and take um, either a paper clip or a really small binder clip and clip the mold to the frame in order for it to cure straight. And that's what I might do. But I sincerely thought that with the weight of all of that resin, it would go ahead and put enough pressure on it to where it would go ahead and straighten up. But, but no, that's what I get for thinking. If y'all hear a, a whir, a whirring sound in the background, that's my uh, space heater because it's 43 degrees outside and I live in an older house. So yeah, I came in here this morning and it was 60 degrees. So, and I don't keep the heater on the probably at the temperature that other people would because it is a big two-story house and I'm having to heat all of the rooms in the whole entire house so yeah so I've had the heater on all day and it's only up to 68 right now so but anyway that's what that one looks like I mean, I'm, I'm really satisfied with the way they came out. They're just, they're really pretty. I could have eased up on the glitter a little bit, but y'all let me know what y'all think. Oh, and the <coughs> excuse me the um what do you call it one of the videos that i lost were was me putting the names in the hope box um on my next video i'm gonna do that hopefully i can get crap figured out by then but anyway i digress um, yes, I do have y'all's names all nice and neatly folded and in the hope box and then just the, I can't find the video, so it will be there next time, I'm hoping. If not, I'll make a separate video just by itself. And after you demold your project, immediately fold your mold back into shape. Otherwise, it's going to get messed up. The shape of it is. And I do have photos at the end of this. But, yeah, that's, that's how it turned out. I've... I love this mold. I I wish that they had or they made other molds or they would make molds in other shapes. It would be so awesome. Yeah, after I turned the lights off, I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to play with it a little bit because I was having some ideas in order for a layout of the photos that I took. So, yeah, right here I'm just kind of playing around a little bit.
I mean, there's, there's diff you don't have to display them with the heart shape. I mean, you can display them like that or just, I mean, there's numerous ways that they can be displayed. I mean, you don't have to display them with the heart shape. Because I'm thinking, oh, this would look cool in a photo, and that would look cool in a photo. <laughs> so, yeah, the gears, and I'm thinking, what in the world is this thing supposed to be? I have no idea. Did I do it wrong? I don't know. And when, when I started, or right before I started this video, I was going to do these candle holders with dried flowers. But I don't know if y'all are tired of dried flowers or not. So, um, and February is Heart Health Month. So that's why I did it in the pink and the red. So until next time, y'all, stay safe, stay healthy, and dare to create. Bye-bye, everybody.